we're going to present you a demo of Alien Dalvik from uh, Myriad. Um, this product is running on an iPad, so you can recognize here the, uh, the home screen of an iPad, and uh, you're certainly familiar with, with those uh, icons. This one is slightly different, so you've got the Android green robot here. So I'm going to click on it. The main difference between um, Mobile World Congress when we introduced Alien Dalvik for the first time and, and now at CTIA is that we're not running an instance of Alien Dalvik on the iPad, we're running it on the cloud. So we kept this page to show that we were accessing a server here. You can see with the multiple tab here that we can run Alien Dalvik on desktop or laptop, we can run it on tablet, we can run it on phone, and we can run it on what we nickname Big, which is basically television. Okay, so I'm going to connect to this. So here we are in the um, in the home screen of, of Alien Dalvik. Um, so we downloaded those applications from market, the uh, straight APKs that we're running on, on Alien Dalvik. On the left hand side you've got five icons. Um, we're going to come back to this in a minute. Uh, basically those uh, applications are running full screen. What we have on the right here is the USA Today application that you can download from market. Um, because stretching it to that screen wouldn't give a good image, what we decided to do is to run it as a widget. Um, but still, you can see that we connected, and you can see that it's not canned content, but it's real content, so it's 60 degrees in New York today, and it's going to be 70 on Thursday and 72 on Friday. Um, you can see that the response is, is very, uh, very fast, um, just by clicking it the same way you would click on, on your mobile device. Uh, now, looking at what we can do full screen, so we're going to launch that um, that game. It's called Air Control, so start game. So you can see that we're having exactly the same setup as you would have on the phone, which means that, for example, advertising are pushed onto, onto the screen, and you can read it here. So um, the objective of this game is to land <laughs> some choppers and some planes, and we can do it here by just giving the trajectory to the plane with the finger. You can see again that it's answering very well to the touch. Remember that every touch that I'm actually doing on the screen is going up the server and the server is feeding back through an H.264 uh, protocol the information so that I can play the game live. So if we click on the globe here we're going back to uh, a main screen where we have multiple uh, multiple screens here. So I'm, I'm launching now the Android browser. So this is the exact Android browser that run on your, uh, not your HTC device, but on um, a number of uh, Android uh, mobile devices. If I click here, I'm going into bookmarks. I'm going to click on BBC to see some news from home. Uh, so we're going to click on this one. And again, we're going to load the uh, the article and I'm going to be able with some basic gesture to read the article. Click on the globe again. So we're back here. Um, let's go and click on this one. So this is called Crazy Bird. Uh, we're going to start that game. First one. So the idea is that we get this little guy from here to here. And we use this to move him if he wants to. Which he doesn't. Not today. You'll need to cut that. Ah, no. not sure. We need to show that. But okay. Yeah, between that's between fine. the two of us, though, that's. I mean, you recognize that. That's yeah, the yeah. typical box from Android. Yeah, yeah. So actually, that's the best proof I can give you that this is right, really yeah, running yeah, Android. Android. Yeah. Um, so we know that false close. Yeah, false close. Um, and then we're back here. So we've got we've got all these instances running in parallel, which is also um, something quite important because there's no degradation in terms of performance, and still we have three applications running, and we have the main screen here. And of course, if you click on that button, you're back into the iPad home screen. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you.